Hello you! Thanks for choosing my guide. If you're wondering how to get rid of the default health color settings of Fudu and wish you could make it look like Elf UI or completely your own design, then you've come to the right fit. I'm going to take you through all the steps needed to make it happen and teach you how to do it on your own. If you want to learn how to set up the panels and other basic stuff, then check out my Fudu first setup guide Click on the link here or in the description below. So, launch your game and follow my lead while you're listening to me in the background. Or stare at the video, whatever works best for you. Alright, let's get started. Open up your Fudu panel by either clicking on the minimap icon or typing slash Fudu opt in chat. Go to the general tab at the bottom and then select indicators in the menu on the right. Now search for the square that says health bar. It is the third from bottom in the second row. Then you click on edit next to the square. This will open the bouquet menu. Type the name of your custom health bar in the blue bar. For me, that is health bar custom. Then you click on new. Now you have made your custom bouquet name and we get started configuring all the details. To add details, you click on the Add button at the bottom in the frame where it says Bouquet Details. This will add an empty bar. You will need 8 of these to configure a proper setup. So hit the Add button 7 more times till you see 8 empty bars. The way the priority system works is as follows. Your health bar color is basically what is showing when none of the other things are happening. So it has the lowest priority. Same goes for color of the names, but that is in front of the health bar, otherwise you couldn't see it. Therefore, it has one priority higher. Flags like disconnect are a higher priority than being out of range. Being rest has a higher priority than being dead, etc, etc. Hope this makes sense a bit. Okay, configuring the detail bars. You might have noticed the frame where it says select special event with the drop down box below. Well, that's what we need to use to configure all the detail bars. So here we go. You select bar one and for special event, you select flag disconnect. It will automatically fill in the default stuff for when players are disconnected. You can change whatever you want in here, but I suggest to leave it as it is. The main thing we want to customize is the health bar anyway. Moving on to 2. Select it. For special event, select flag, range, comma, out of. 3. For special event, select flag, resurrection. I changed the ugly green into a green that I liked, but you can leave it as it is if you like it. Moving on to 4. For special event, select flag, dead. For 5, select color, overheal, highlighter. If you don't care for overheals, then you can remove number 5 by selecting number 5 and click on remove at the bottom of the frame. 6. Select flag, debuff, comma, configured. 7. Select flag, always class color, or pick always solid and change the color that you want for all names to show. 8. Select status bar, health percentage. Now, this is where the fun begins. After you have selected status bar, health percentage, you need to select gradient if you want to make it look like Elf UI. You are now able to change the colors of the bar at full health, half health and low health. Elf UI is using dark gray for good, yellow for fair and red for low. To change the color, you click on the square where it says good and change it to whatever color you want. Then click OK in the pop-up box. This is also the color that shows when you are at full HP. So the color in the item square, cha item square changes with whatever you choose as the good color. You do the same thing for fair and low. 
You can also just type in the color code that I am using. You can find them in the description below the video. Awesome. You learned how to make a custom bouquet. Grats. This was it. To assign this custom bouquet to your bars, go to panels, panels at the bottom and select bars in the menu to the right. In the frame custom settings, you select your own bouquet name you just made. In my case, it's health bar custom. Double check on the general at the bottom and indicators menu if your custom health bar is still selected under the square health bar. If not, select it in the drop down box. To save all the changes, you click on OK at the bottom right of Fudu. That was most of the work that needs to be done to make Fudu look like Elf UI. But we're not done yet. We also need to create a custom background since Fudu does not have a genetic background by default. So open up your Fudu panel again and go to indicators. And this time find a square that says bar background. Click on edit again next to that. To create your custom background type in a new name. Like in my case I typed background generic and click on new. You need to add four bars in a detail section. So click add four times. Uh, for bar one, you need to select special event flag disconnected. For two, you select flag range comma out of. For three, you select flag debuff comma configured. And for four, status bar health percentage. Select bar 4. Under the special events uh, section you select gradient again. The good color is going to be a darker shade of gray of the normal full HP color and for fair color is going to be a dark shade of yellow and for low it's going to be a dark shade of red. Again if you want to copy my colors then you can find them in the description below the fit. Double check again in the indicators if your custom background bouquet is selected under the bar background square. Save everything by clicking the OK button at the bottom right and your Fudu should look like Elf UI now or like your own design. Alright, we have come to the end of this guide. You may call yourself now a master at Fudu, so be proud. If you enjoyed this guide, then please leave a thumbs up and share it with your Fudu using friends. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.